Hey guys, it's Frank from Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to take a look at getting Dolby Digital Plus audio processing on your Nexus 4. Now before we begin, make sure to grab the Nexus 4 Dolby Digital Plus mod file. Uh, there will be a link to this file and also a, a link to a detailed article describing this process in the description for this video. Once that file is on your phone, you want to take your phone and let's boot it into its recovery. So just uh, hold down the volume down button and the power button from an off state and boot it up like this and it will go into this fast boot screen and then using the volume up and down buttons we can scroll through until you see recovery mode and press power to select and it's going to boot into our recovery just take a moment here All right, now from our recovery, I'm using TWRP, but any recovery is basically going to be the same process. We're just going to select install, and then we're going to navigate to wherever it is that we place these files. I happen to have them in the download folder. There we see Dolby Digital Plus version 5 Mako for the Nexus 4. And we also see a revert file in case something goes wrong, we want to uh, try to undo these changes. Uh, we can flash that, but in this case, we're just going to flash this file right here and we can just swipe to confirm the flash and it's not going to take very long at all we don't need to do any wipe or anything like that we can just reboot the system now we'll wait for our operating system to come back up we'll just take a few moments I'm uh, currently running the Android L preview build but this works just fine uh, on this and on your typical 4.4 uh, ROMs Just a note, this, uh, this mod is ported over from the, uh, the Ascend P6 that comes with this, uh, this Dolby Digital Plus built in. Alright. Now what we'll notice right off the bat is that if we're going through our apps, we will see right there Dolby Digital Plus. We click to open this app. Can't really do very much from this screen. We just basically see that we can enable and disable it. However, when we go to go into music settings, there really isn't anything to do here. Although we see it down at the bottom, a little toast notification that says for more effects, we have to plug in a headset. So we're gonna do that real quick here. Just plug in our headset. Now we'll notice up in that uh, up in that corner we see. Dolby Digital Plus music settings, a persistent uh, sort of tray notification there, and you can see all the different possible music settings for all the different genres of music. Uh, we have our default, rock, jazz, pop. Then scrolling down a little further, we have podcasts for, for listening to podcasts and uh, a variety of uh, different settings. I can tell you uh, from personal experience, having used this, uh, having listened to a lot of music with it, uh, it is a noticeable change if you switch it on and off. You can really tell the difference, and it really is something that uh, I think yields a, a really positive listening experience versus any other equalizer settings or anything like that that I have experimented with so far. Uh, one thing to note is if your ROM does uh, come with a DSP uh, manager, some sort of DSP setting for uh, for doing a system-wide equalizer, uh, those settings need to be disabled, um, otherwise this uh, this effect will not work. All right, well that's all for that. Very simple uh, little mod, uh, very useful little mod, so be sure to try it out and let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks.